Hello everybody, my name is the Farmman, and welcome back to episode 3 of our Let's Play on Court Farms. Um, right, so today, I'm sorry that there was no video today, which is the which is Saturday the 19th. I've been busy, I was out today and I was out yesterday, so it was really difficult. Um, but anyway, I've managed to get this field harvested just before I started this video. Uh, I'm just harvesting the other side of it now. We will be doing some silage soon but first of all we're gonna get them bales in which we made in episode two which I haven't I've stacked a few of them not all of them uh, I think we'll just buy one of these just buy an auto stack it so yeah but tomorrow there will be a video for Monday because I've got Monday off on us playing about with a new Ford and using that because I've got it, I've got it all wired up. It doesn't need bump starting to start. It'll fire up straight away. So, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, automatic straw bales and on the left. So I've turned my graphics settings down, and the reason is I was on this game. Uh, where am I? Not yesterday, the day before. And uh, I was in the Massey Ferguson loader, and for some reason, every time I went into cab view, it lagged really badly. Um, it still does it now, so I've just tweaked my graphic settings down to normal, just just for now. Um, I'll probably put them back up to high eventually, but I've done it just for now, just so it doesn't get lag on anything else. I can quite easily look around in here. So yeah, we'll get these bales in whilst they're doing that, and then we might get some mowers bought and get that field mowed. Uh, only does it at like 12 mile an hour, if I remember correctly. Put it at 11. No, 11. 11. Yep, yeah, there's no message. I have got the hiccups. So we haven't actually bought any cows yet. I've just I'm just sort of getting prepared for them, like I said. So we're gonna do harvest field eighty uh, eight, I mean. Um I've left the straw on the ground, we'll just chop it up and put it in the harvester. Well through the chopper and uh, get get it into silage and we'll use that as well as a grass field. To make sure the pit is extra full, I will probably just use the fast track with um, a silage trailer and we'll just drive the chopper. Right. So I have taken a couple of bales there already just casually. Field 3 is actually a grass field that doesn't actually show, it doesn't actually show up that it's a grass field, which is, I thought was a bit odd, but it actually is. So. And the good thing about this trailer is it's not rented, it's ours forever. Right, right that's them done. And it's, I mean, I stopped it, so it should be okay. I'm going to just sort of drive out of cab for now, until we get there. The one thing I have noticed is that that little hedge bit there that sticks out, there's actually a collision on it. So if you do not get yourself absolutely square out of this field, or as close to this fence as you can possibly get, you actually get stuck on it. Which I thought was quite odd. And to be fair, it's not realistic in a way because you'd, push, you'd probably brush past it with the cab or something like that. But I reckon if we could just get a chainsaw and just trim it and pull it off, then hopefully that will... We probably won't get rid of the trigger, but hopefully it'll just sort of give us a little bit more leeway to the next trigger. Or I don't know how that would work. But yeah, as you can see, I've made a pile there. Uh, they did fall off, which was stupid. 
And as there's no cars, we'll just pull up on here and change the side, which is M. Well, trailer and M. Just leave this thing running. Pip. So yeah, if you get in the Master Ferguson's cab, it'll it does actually lag quite a bit, as you can see there. I have changed the bail forks, as you can see. These are the Robert bail forks. These are on the official website. Um, now the reason is is because the ones I was using do not actually accept these bales. They won't actually pick square bales up, so I thought. And plus people can actually go download these. They're on the official website. Um, so you can actually go get these if you want them. This Massey Ferguson is released as well. Uh, right, let's just put these there. Now the reason them ones fell on the floor is because I accidentally hit them with the other bales. Um, just accidentally, it wasn't on purpose. Come on. To be fair, it's actually quite warm in my house. It's actually really hot in my house now. That, that was really fucking weird of me to just say. Anyway. Let's wait for that up. So, we may cultivate all this grass out of the way because it's just going to get annoying. Or we, we'll just leave it. I'm not too bothered. And slop on the floor. Now, having this bale shed here has actually made it quite handy. It means we haven't actually got to keep going in the yard. And it's going to prevent lag in the yard, because the game will have to load up all the buildings and that. But if the bales are outside of the yard, it should. It shouldn't cause too much. I'm not saying it won't cause any, but it shouldn't cause as much as it would if they were in there. And you press Z to go up a gear. But I think second's a bit quick for doing this. And now we're in third. Good. And then we'll go pick the last ones up and that should be it. Well, that should be it for the bales. The straw bales anyway. Then we'll go sort stuff out to get this forage harvester. Because to be fair, we have quite a bit of money as you can see. So we can actually splash some cash on some stuff. Right, date. Alright, next two. So, the reason I'm doing it this way is it gives you more space and you haven't got poles to go around as if I was stacking it the other way. You, there'll be lots of bars to keep going around. This way there isn't. There is literally only it's just a straight line. Last one. Oh, I've turned my phone off. Shit. If I turn my phone off, I can't get the, um, the timer because I don't have another screen, so I can't see how long I've been recording for. That's only seven minutes. So, yeah, we'll probably get the st silage started today. Well, at least get the straw ones started, harvesting the straw. Even if it is just a rented combine, which would be fine. To be fair, I'm not a big fan on rented stuff. It does help to have it. I'm just not a huge fan on it. Because it means that you have to pay for the diesel you use, which, to be f in fairness, would be the same if, if you owned it, but you have to pay back more and you have to pay for the price of... Well, it basically works out cheaper to rent it, but it means I have to keep renting it all the time and it's not just here permanently, so... Whereas I would like it to just be here. Whenever, whenever I need it, I can just use it.
Oh, that was my fault. Swing. Squared up with the gate. Right. Get these last bales in. And then we can get this field ready for the next next uh, harvest. But luckily we're not going to plough this field ourselves. We'll use course play with the, the John Deere. Did we buy all the stuff for getting the animals done? No, we have not. So that's another thing we need to think about getting. We do have a seeder, that's good, so we can start reseeding a field. That means we can't splash too much cash on animals straight away because there will not be enough for uh, paying for seeds and stuff. And all that. If I was doing this, if I had another track to spare, I'd probably use the uh, fast track for doing this. It's, but this John Deere will do. So yeah, I'm hoping people are liking these videos still. Um. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, we will be. We will be. Uh, there will be the video up tomorrow of the forts, and I will get that recorded at some point. If it's not tomorrow, it'll definitely be Monday time-ish. Yep. Uh, eventually I want to get rid of this Massey Ferguson and get something else. Maybe the New Holland, because the New Holland doesn't lag. But, um, to be fair, I'm not too bothered right now. It can stay. Until it gets us through this. Right, this bit can go in here. Oh. And drop. Right, so there isn't actually that many bales to come off this train. Uh, we'll drop this one here actually. So we'll have to kick that one in just because of the pole. So yeah, this will make life easy because we'll be able to have the straw blower on the road like this or just pull into here and pick up the straw bales. Uh, I'd, and I'll probably do another stack of bales maybe in front of them or on the... or next to them. Come on, lift up. Uh -huh. I have to lift an entire bale trailer up. Yeah, so the best ones to do with that trailer is to pick the front ones up, then the back ones. Well, front, middle, then back. Um, the hay ones, I think, can go in that shed that I was initially going to put these bale ones in. But I'm not too bothered. So yeah, like I said, there'll be the two videos recorded on this map straight after each other. I know Chillington's was a day after each other, but they were. I had to. I couldn't play the game just straight after it. I had to go and uh, sort some stuff out. So I will be able to do that with this map. I can play. Well, today I'll be able to just play straight after it and get to a point on. It'll probably be the point of where we just finish the field of silage and get some stuff done.
Right, we'll go put this bale trailer in the farm. We'll leave it on this farm, it might, we can stay here. It's not going to be, going to be too big of a problem. And we'll leave the John Deere hooked up to it as well. I don't like how that bit comes to the road. Um, if you can see it just there. That bit, if if it was my shed, I'd have, I'd have bricked it up. Well, not bricked it up, just built something over it. Right, let's get the fast track. And then we'll, we'll leave these two fields and we'll get field uh, two ready because that's actually that can actually have a course by course on it this one can't because the fields aren't together so we'd have to do like you'd have to have like if one of, if one of these was four and five then yeah you'd probably get away with it but because they're both the game's calling the both field for it. it doesn't show up on course play, so. Which is alright, I'll have to either seed them myself and record the course as I'm seeding. So we'll... We we'll probably won't start the silage this episode, we'll do it next. But we'll get this guy into that field. And I think you can take a shortcut through the forestry bit. Which I think is where the chickens are, actually. I think the chickens are in here. Oh yeah, there's the feeder there. And there's the cockerel. So we'll be able to have some chickens in there. This John Deere is actually quite quick. So yeah, we'll get that field sorted out. And then get this fast track down to the shop. Well, down to the cell point, And hopefully that will be the end of the video. I don't want to bore you driving back. Right, so we'll set that up. Field 2. Uh, so technically, I can't actually get this in. Oh, yeah, I can. I have to squeeze it really close to the. Thing. Where is the start point? First waypoint. Right, and then we'll just sort of take all this, we'll get rid of all this crap on it. Just start and end. Right, and we'll leave that there. So we'll go get this down to the shop. Oh, there's some black clouds over there. And then I'll play a little bit off screen and get this field finished and maybe get another field started on seeding and stuff. And then we'll get some silage done. But I won't start the silage off screen, I will actually start the silage on screen. Let's go. Twenty-seven, eight, nine, thirty, and it's stuck already. How has that happened? Okay, I think I know why. There's not enough lots of points. Let's do double that, let's put four on. Right. 
fold him back up. Right, so he shouldn't go too far now. He should. Yeah, he should give him. He should have enough room to turn around. I hope. But we'll go get this canola tipped and sold and sorted out. Field 25 looks like a good field to buy. But if we are going to do any mowing, it'll be this thing we do the mowing with because we'll put the front mowers on it. probably won't show the driving back of this we'll probably just tip it at the shop and then that'll be it and the next episode we'll start off by renting the harvester with the head of with the chopper and buying the trailer and getting all that sorted And then we'll probably start fat. We might, we might do some beef pigs and fattening chickens. We might get into all the animals on this map. To be fair, that actually be pretty good if we got to manage to do all of the animals at least once. Because I think this is the only map that has fattening chickens on it that I know of. Field 20 is a cornfield, as you can see. But I kind of don't want to keep having to cart it from down here so I might just leave this field and do it off screen or something. But I don't know why every time I break the fucking thing starts to swear but you know it's probably me normally is. And yes sorry I haven't been activated on active on the Facebook page. I'm sorry that I am so fucking bad at driving. Yeah, I haven't been active on the Facebook page for at least a month. I'm really sorry about that. I've just been... The busyness is off the scale. So yeah, I'll let this vin video render up off screen whilst we sort all this out. So Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more today and I shall see all of you in the next video. Happy farming. Bye-bye.